welcome back to this new video now this video is on how to retire at 45 that is if you are right now 25 years how you can retire at 45 by using systematic investment plan and by using the power of compounding now it may seem difficult but it is not difficult in 20 years you can retire if you are 25 so at 45 you can retire uh, I have just retired at 60 but unfortunately I was not aware of such schemes uh, such uh, investment pattern otherwise I would have followed and retired at 45 also but anyway those who are young and still they want to retire early and enjoy the freedom from bosses and uh, live on their own uh, free life carefree life with regular income you can follow this plan now here in this method you are i am assuming that your monthly income is 1 lakh rupees so and i am assuming that 10 percent you are able to save every month so if your monthly income is 1 lakh rupees uh, the 10 percent of that will be 10,000 so i am going to put a value of 10,000 in this <coughs> so you can see that I put 10,000 in this. Now every year you will get increment and your salary will rise. Let us assume that you get 10% increase in your salary. So obviously you will deposit also more, every 10% more. So you are increasing your investment, monthly investment by 10% every year. Right? And so you are starting with 10,000 per month in the first year. In the second year it will become 11,000 per month in the third year another 10 percent more that is 12,100 and so on so every year your uh, investment is increasing by 10 percent assuming that you are getting an increment of uh, about 10 percent every year in your salary now uh, let us assume what is the uh, let us assume the expected rate of return on you have to do systematic investment and in that systematic investment plan let us assume that the expected rate of return is 15%. Now you may say that 15% is uh, too high. It is not too high. There are some schemes and there are some securities in which you can get 15% per year. Uh, if, if, you, uh, if you are able to find such a scheme, then you can definitely achieve this target, target of this plan. Since you want to retire in 20 years, you will do all this process for 20 years so the term i am putting 20 years so what we have done we have we are investing 10000 per month in the beginning assuming that you have a salary of 1 lakh and 10 percent of that you are investing if your salary is less or more you can correspondingly increase them increase the monthly amount the percentage increase every year is 10 percent assuming that you get 10 percent increase in your salary every year expected rate of return for your investment is 15 percent okay and the term period is 20 years that is you are going to retire in another 20 years you want to retire in another 20 years right so if you are 25 you can retire at 45 if you are 30 you can retire at 50 and so on okay so let us see what uh, what will be the result of this investment so you will find that the maturity amount of all this process is 2 crores 50 lakhs 13,000 something you have uh, deposited 68 lakhs 72,000 over the period of 20 years and uh, you have got a return of 1 lakh 81,000 uh, 1 crore 81,000 uh, in that period so you have a maturity amount at, at after 20 years you will have 2 crores 50 lakhs approximately 2 crores 50 lakhs so let us see how it happens now in the first year you deposited 1,20,000 because you are putting 10,000 every month and uh, the return is 15% so uh, it comes out to 9,750 because you are not investing 1,20,000 straight away you are putting 10,000 per month so uh, over a period of one year the uh, the your investment will appreciate by 15% to give you 9,750 so at the end of the year you will have a balance of 129,750 in the second year you are putting 10 percent more so your investment is 10 11000 per month so it will come total amount deposited is 1 lakh 32000 and in that the return will be 
30,187 because now the original one year first year balance is also there and the second year investment is also there so after the end of two years you will have 2,91,000 so like that if you do uh, if you see the calculation at the end of uh, 20 years your amount becomes 2 crores 50 lakhs 13,000 right so now at 45 you are having 2 crore 50 lakhs right so now what we will do we will do a reverse of systematic investment plan that is systematic withdrawal plan in systematic withdrawal plan you can deposit your money or whatever you have accumulated you start withdrawing now you don't have to put anything because you have retired you don't have any income so you just have to withdraw from whatever your accumulated fund is there so let us see what happens to your how you can get a regular income so we will go to systematic withdrawal plan in a systematic withdrawal plan initially after 20 years you have got a corpus of 2 crores 50 lakhs this is uh, 1000 yes it is 2 crores 50 lakhs no it is 25 lakhs here one more zero to this is 2 crore 50 lakhs uh, is your corpus and now what we will do is we will withdraw we will withdraw 1,50,000 per month because you are you have retired now and you want a monthly withdrawal of 1,50,000 so uh, and every year we are increasing by 5% the withdrawal because of inflation assuming that inflation is 5% you are withdrawing uh, 5% so you will withdraw 1,50,000 uh, every year and uh, every month and uh, the whatever balance amount is there that will continue to earn your uh, uh, it will continue to grow at 15% per year and since you are retiring at 40, 45 and uh, you expect to live to 100 so for 55 years we will be withdrawing this so the withdrawal term is 55 years so if you are at 45 you will withdraw for 55 years uh, and you, if you are assuming that you live to 100 years uh, in this fact in this scheme here in this process you will find that even if you live longer than that still your balance will be there to give you the regular withdrawal of 150000 in the beginning and 5% increase every year so let us see how you how much you are how much is the balance at the end of 55 years now you will find that the final balance at the end of 55 years that is when you are 100 years uh, you you will be having you will be having 12035 or 1235 crores still balance and you have withdrawn 49 crores so this is in case you are withdrawing 150000 per month let us see if we withdraw 2 lakhs per month whether we are getting any balance okay so because of inflation and all that suppose you withdraw 2 lakhs per month then in the case of 2 lakhs per month and assuming that uh, 5 years 5% uh, every month you are increasing your withdrawal every year you are withdrawal, increasing your withdrawal return expected is 15% and withdrawal period is 55 years so here you are getting final balance zero and it is showing here that you can your withdrawal will last for 36 years and five months that means uh, it won't last for 55 years it will last only for 36 years so if you are withdrawing 1 lakh 50 thousand uh, then uh, the balance is there but if you are withdrawing 2 lakhs then the balance is not remaining after 36 years so let us uh, make it to 175 that is you withdraw 1 lakh 75 thousand every year now if you lack withdraw 1 uh, 1 lakh 75 thousand every month sorry not not every year every month every month you withdraw 1 lakh 75 thousand that will be your monthly income after retirement uh, and the 5 percent every year you are increasing the amount uh, of withdrawal expected return is uh, 15 years uh, 15 uh, percent and the withdrawal term is 55 years because you are 45 and you are expected to live to 100 years so let us see what remains after 100 years see now the final balance is uh, it is uh, 533 crores and you have withdrawn 57 crores 26 lakhs and uh, so at when you are 100 your balance will be 533 crores now all this is may sound uh, 
very inflated figures but then this is the power of compounding so uh, and if you decrease the percentage or increase the percentage of return then the obviously the figures will change so now i have given you a scheme of a uh, plan of how to retire at 45 years if you are 25 or if you are 30 you can retire at 50 if you are 50, 35 you can retire at 55 and so on so for the the plan you have to carry out systematic investment plan you have to carry out for 20 years okay now here the assumption is that the return is percent return percentage is 15% per month uh, per year sorry 15% per month per year so which is not a, a difficult thing to achieve if you select a proper security for investment or a proper mutual fund uh i'll discuss some of the uh, securities which have given even higher return than 15% per year in the future videos okay thank you very much